going on everybody? It's DAB and we're back for another one. Here we go. Today, Here we go. we're going to talk about Avatar, The Avatar. Last Air Pender. Yes sir, Avatar, The Last Air Bender, the whole Avatar verse. It's your boy Jamal Dabney again, and I'm here with my boy Austin Vance. And we about to get into it. Let's go. Let's do this. So. Avatar. What's up with the Avatar, man? There's a lot going on in the Avatar verse right now. Nice, nice, nice. They're coming out with a new live action series coming out in 2023, Ooh. this summer, roughly. Okay. Um, live action. There's eight episodes, and each episode is an hour each. Mm. You know, the the actors and actresses who I've seen. I can't remember all of their names, but. Mm -hmm. um, a couple of them have posted pictures on set, and that look it looks good. Yeah, now this live action is it's I believe it's gonna be on Netflix, correct? Yes, it's nice. gonna be on Netflix. Nice, nice. Yep. And then after that, you know, they got the live action stuff going on. They mm -hmm. also are adding in a new Earthbender avatar, which I'm sure you guys have heard. No, it's not new news, you know. But what we did find out is it's a modern avatar. 2013-ish, 100 years after Korra, roughly. Um, that comes out in 2026, and then they're doing a new Avatar every year after that. Hopefully, supposedly. Mm. Um, yeah. This you know, is but, gonna be good. Yeah, but going off that, you know, I don't know how they're gonna do it. Spoiler alert. Um. You know, if you haven't seen all of Legend of Korra yet, I suggest watching that before finishing this video. Um, but, so during the battle, the final battle between Unalak and Korra, Ravo was actually ripped out of Korra by v uh, Vatu. Okay, okay. Jamal, you know who Vatu is, right? Vatu, the dark spirit right, yeah. of uh, the two opposing forces that have been uh, going back and forth since the beginning of the Avatar world. Yeah, you got Rava, which is the light spirit. Light, right. Yep. And then you got Vatu, who's actually the spirit of chaos. Yeah. His main purpose is to destroy the world. Yeah, um, I mean, I remember watching the episode, he was just... Was it like gobbling up other life forms? Or yeah, he was like just. That, man? Yeah, he was an animal. Didn't care. Uh, but, yeah. So what happened was, um, he actually reached out of Unalak, who became the Dark Avatar by fusing with Vatu, mm -hmm. and he was able to reach outside Unalak, and rip out Rava from Korra, and actually wow. kill Rava, severing the past Avatar lives. Mm. So that so means no more Aang, man. no more, no Aang, more Roku, no more Roku, no more Kyoshi, no more Karuk, um, Karuk, um, yeah, all gone. Man. So the only previous life this new Earthbender is gonna have is Korra. That's gonna be crazy, and I wonder how they establish that connection. What's yeah. going on with the Avatar State now? Right. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna be a weakened form of it. Because there's only, you know, the Avatar State is all of his past lives, all of their past lives coming together right, right. to plan, you know. Exactly. To help in whatever situation that's coming out, it gives them all their wisdom, all their kind of powers, you know. Right. I mean, not powers. All the strength but, of the Avatar yeah, all the that, have come that have come before them, so. Yeah. That's going to be pretty interesting. I love the Avatar State, man. Yeah, you know, it's, it's based off of, and it's cool how... Uh, one of you know, obviously we have our own connections with our book, Black Bow. You know, mm -hmm. um, but it's interesting not to give nothing away because you know you guys gotta tap in to read that. You know, link in bio and all descriptions. You know, tap that app and uh, tap into the Bowverse. But essentially, oh, yeah. um, the the foundation of the power system in Avatar is also loosely based on the Seven Chakra Principle as well. Mm -hmm. um, not only the four nations, but the philosophies behind Avatar um, and the way Aang was able to, the basis of the Avatar state, what it entails to unlock the Avatar state and 
the the focus and the flow that all things have to be one in order to achieve the avatar state so that's pretty interesting how avatar made that aware even for kids to understand that so that's yeah. that's the dope part about that yeah they did a really good job about 12 year old me understanding you know mm-hmm. what chakras are right like they don't teach that in school no they don't no. and you can the, the crazy thing is I, it's sad, it's funny that, speaking of school, I probably learned 99% of my vocabulary and uh, wisdoms and philosophies from real life stuff that cartoons and anime have taught that, yeah. that you know, we didn't even get that until you had to go to college and you really read things like Plato and, you know, Aristotle and stuff like that, yeah. learning about philosophy. Mm-hmm. But they were teaching stuff about philosophy in the Avatar. Right, yeah. In, in you know, Dragon Ball Z, um, you know, uh, early on, Captain Freaking Planet. That's before <laughs> your time, man. Like, No, I like, remember Captain Planet. I mean, I wasn't alive then, but I've right. seen it a couple yeah, times. Yeah, so, I mean, like, come on now. Like, they're, they're teaching stuff, you know, man. It, it's sad to say, but this is how come our generation was able to stay... I feel like above the, the, the boat, you know, stay afloat mm-hmm. in society because these things are teaching yeah, us like, real life lessons. Yeah, look at the cartoons now. Come on. Like, there's no life lessons. It's, it's pathetic. It's a bunch itself. of cartoons just running around teaching kids how to misbehave, essentially. Um, like, Teen Titans Go, like, hmm. I personally don't like that. It makes all the Teen Titans seem so childish. It means, it lo- makes Robin look... Like a, like a bum. A bum, punk, like, yeah. self, little righteous, little asshole. For real. Just to be honest with you. Um, yeah. yeah, man. And like, no. Avatar and Legend of Korra and all of these types of shows really taught you about culture. It taught you about, like you were saying, philosophy. Yeah, yeah. You know, mm-hmm. like. Exactly, man. You can't, uh, you know. You, it's just that's just something that can't be replicated. It can't be those are those are gems that were dropped in those shows. You know, it can't mm-hmm. be, uh, you know, falsified or redone in any shape or form. You know, this classic. But um, you know, these these shows today, no type of moral, no type of end uh, realization, no mm-hmm. type of um, you know learning nothing right. and so when it comes to that it's like you know what are you teaching these kids just to, you know be lazy you know most of these countries people are fat eating shit all the time like you know, talk, talk about you know look you know the cut the, the stuff we grew up and thank god that we did and we're able to especially me like even the cartoons that I talked about that went way back or you know like i was raised on martial arts films anime mm-hmm. You know, later on, obviously, then the Avatar came out, and uh, yeah, it's teaching. It's teaching real every. every there's a purpose behind every story. It's not just a, a, a something there. Go look at it. And the, and the thing is, that's that's where the comics are kind of going towards nowadays. It's no real moral at the end mm-hmm. of the story. It's just fighting, super yeah. villain. Bam! What happens? Boom! Okay, you know. I'm trying to, with what we're doing as well, trying to instill some type of, you know, at the end of the day, this is for people that really want to see, you know, what really, ha- what the the true, you know, dynamic and the true struggle between good and evil. Everybody wants to see the good guy win. Everybody wants to know that what happens, you know. So when you, these these comics or shows and like the bad, bad guys or whatever, people having all type of perverse stuff is going on. It's like, that's cool. But where does it lead at the end of the right. day? Right. For Avatar to really be able to tie all of that in and still make it PG for kids. Yeah, like they really. I listen to their podcasts all the time, and they bring on the creators, they yeah. bring on the actors and actresses who yeah, were dope. there, yeah. and they just all were talking about like that. You know how yeah. they le- they learned life lessons from just being a part of it. Mm, yeah, you know? that's powerful, man. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so going off that, a couple questions for you, Jamal. Yeah, what do you got? What do you got? Yeah. So, first question. Yeah. Who is your favorite character in the entire Avatar universe? It can be a bender, non-bender. It could, you know, even be, like, an I, animal. Two, f- I have two favorites, of course. I love, I lo- you know, the little kid thing, like, you know, the staff, the, you know, reminding me of Son Goku. It was 
Aang was my, you know, I gotta go with Aang. I mean, he's yeah. the, he's the, he's the hero. Classic. He's the Goku of that series. He's the Classic. Superman of that. I mean, I don't yeah. care. You got Korra and all that, yeah. but Aang is, come on. Everybody know Aang was so badass as a kid. He's hanging, even they like to play like, you know, he was a silly little kid. You know how much skill he had to have to go up against adults trying to take every series. Somebody was trying to capture him, take <laughs> his fucking head off. Look, yo, dude, Aang. Dude, that's how I know. I it, it's so sad that we would never get to see adult prime Aang. Like, imagine if Aang like. Well, actually, we do get to see that. Well, then that's gonna be. Yeah, badass. they're making a. Speaking of Avatar, yeah, they're making an adult gang movie. There's a couple of titles they have for it. One's called Hidden Kingdom, Kingdom, mm. and the other is like Temple of the Law. No, it's Temple of the Something. But yeah, it's about basically their adult adventures. Leading up to the Legend of Korra, man, I really want to interest to see you know. Of course, like Aang was dude when they were kids growing up. I mean, Korra had it. She she had it bad a little bit, but if you think about it, Korra grew up in luxury, bro. Yeah, she, I'm looking at that. Aang grew. They he, they were younger than her. They were going through the trenches, man. They were on the ground. The, they were camping out. They, yeah, the, the, escaping assassins, bro. Like come <laughs> Zuko on. all the time. Zuko on her ass. Azula, man. The dude, dude. with the freaking fire beam on oh, his forehead. Combustion man. Combustion man, bro. <laughs> Classic, like, dude. Like, they, they, they really, they, yo, come on, bro. Like, nah, yeah. you can't, no. Aang had that shit way worse, bro. That's why definitely. his story is way more legendary. Like, yeah. Korra, Korra has some cosmic stuff going on. I think she definitely dealt with the spirit world more than Aang, maybe a little bit. Yeah. But the, the, the enormity of Aang's situation was, I believe, greater than hers. Mm -hmm. Because not only was he the last of his clan, the yeah. last of his people, he basically had to bring the world from the brink of literally yeah. fascist Nazi type, you know, eradication from the Fire Nation, bro. Yeah. Like so Fire Nation, no joke. I no mean joke. I mean, man, like and the fact that he didn't do it, he could have killed Ozai, but him be having that pure heart, yeah. he spared him. But do you imagine like with all I, his I believe that Aang, Aang look how raw Aang was, man. He was naturally talented. He had no formal training to really become the avatar. He ran away when he was a kid. Right, yeah. So, as soon as he found out he was the avatar, he ran away. I mean, so that skill he naturally he was naturally agile, gifted. I mean, mm -hmm. man, and like like you can tell like the the only person I think had technical skill like Toph was obviously very well trained. Yeah. But they said Azula was a child prodigy. But that means without training, Aang had to be even more of a child prodigy than her. Mm -hmm. Because he was, I mean, the only reason she got him was she struck him from behind. Yes, I mean, come on, them. like, like, man, Aang is, Aang is that dude. And I'm just making, I mean, he is probably, he was, he's probably the most skilled at airbender avatar that probably ever lived. I mean, I don't Yang think. Yang Chi is pretty dope. Yang Chi was probably dope, but man, Aang. He was probably in his prime. He was probably god level tier. Probably. Like Ozai wouldn't have been it. Like he beat Ozai as a kid. So Real. imagine how strong Aang would have been in his prime, dude. Like, oh, like when, when he got Ozai's age. Imagine. Oh my, Aang, yes. I just, I just see the part of him. Of course, I bet you when he took off his shirt, Aang was probably ripped. I mean, he just god. Level. I'm talking about air. Like, imagine. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Like, I, the Aang is just, you know, man. Yes. Aang. Imagine some Aang and Korra babies or something like that. Like, that would have been ridiculous. Like, their offspring would have been, like, gods or something like that. Because Korra was just naturally built woman. Like, she's, yeah. like, Wonder Woman. Like, I mean. She yeah. was talented, but it's just, like, Aang's freaking, like, she was, her, if you notice, her style of bending on, with everything she did was power. Yes, yeah, because she. Boom. She yeah. got her, you know, power. power. Aang's was. Even his, so, when he learned, you know, the monks, and basically each nation is based off from a certain like type of karate or krav maga or anything like right, that. Right. So the, the airbenders were based off from, um, it's more of a like it evade, looks, yeah. Um, you know, redirecting, redirecting, getting away. Right, 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 um, right. They're not gonna attack you first. Of course. Whereas an course. earthbender, they're coming at you hot. Oh yeah. Waterbender is yeah. also a little flowy. Right, firebender right. coming at you hot. Right. So the earth and the water bit and the firebenders are, are the aggressive type of styles. Yeah. So I would say like, and water and air. They're, and remember what they said. They said that 
Aang had to master, I remember, his opposites first. Just like mm -hmm. water was the opposite of fire. I mean, water is the opposite of fire. Yeah. Earth is the opposite of air. Yeah. So it, he said air, Earth mm -hmm. would have been actually his, whatever the opposite of his nation, that his element is, would be the hardest for him to master. Yeah, that's true. So, so. Yeah, yeah his, so, so yeah. when he was learning Earth, that was, that was one of my favorite seasons. You okay. know, it was, Tough he was getting, was fucking him. He up. was a, she was a drill she sergeant. She called him Twinkle Toes. She called him Twinkle Toes till he was 40. And probably past that. Actually, she called Korra Twinkle Toes. So yeah, that means in a whole nother life, life, he's still getting called Twinkle Toes. Yeah. Like. <laughs> I, I Yo, didn't. Toph was to the fact that she's still alive in Legend of Korra is bad. Like she had to be so bad as she founded a whole Dude, region of freaking. Remember that steel swamp? Bending? Oh my god! That they got stuck in. That's mm. where she lives in that little swamp area. Yeah. Wow. And she just chills there with the spirits and stuff. Yo, she's mm. so bad. But the, I think one of the most glorious moments was when she discovered the the first ever airbender to bend the earthbender to bend metal. Yeah, and she started a whole school about it. Metal bending, dude. Metal bending school, and now the entire police force can do it. In Legend of Korra. In Legend of right. Korra. This is going to be exciting. Like, I'm, everybody's talking about this Legend of Genji, so I, that's that earth bending yeah. that you're talking mm -hmm. about. I can't wait. That's going to be interesting. I can't wait to I'm, see that. I'm definitely excited to see that. Um, for our final question, Jamal. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? What type of bender would you be? Hmm. <laughs> what type of bender would I be? Hmm. I mean, nowadays, with everything, man. Would you, what bending would you be? There's a top of bendings. Oh, I see all the bendings are, there's bendings to create, bendings to heal. Yeah. And I mean, bendings to destroy. Mm -hmm. I, man. Uh, I'd probably be me. Me and my, my, my personality, like, I, I, yeah, I'm a free spirit. So there, for me, I know you had, we had talked through earlier, but mm -hmm. it would only, for me, it would definitely be between the two elements, either air or water. Okay, I see that. Yeah. I can because, see that. Because, because I'm like, yeah, I might, you know, I might be, you know, you know, I try to, you know, maintain a strong will, which will be representing earth, but mm -hmm. at the same time, I'm a free spirit. I like to go be with the wind bro yeah that was and my guess was earth. with the flow so it's either water it would be for me it would be water or air plus i'm a pisces and pisces is a water sign honestly that's so. the new thing instead of the signs yeah <laughs> what bender do you think you are yeah what if what do what the freak if there's another like joint based off the zodiac signs that's <laughs> an element well yeah it kind of is um the saint saint Seiya. that's another mm. anime you should check out um yeah the zodiac knights uh, yo, they're coming out with a live action too, and mm. I've been waiting for a long time to see that. But that's another video. So we hit it, man. Yeah. And you know, uh, don't forget to check out Black Bow and see how it connects to the Avatar. You guys are gonna love that one, man. Yeah, you guys gotta find out. We can't do it for you. We yeah. already know. Yeah, we already know. And uh, you know, if you wanna know, then pick up that copy, man. All links are in the description below. So, without further ado, baby, it's D-A-B, and we will see you in the next one. Again, hit that like and share button, and make sure you subscribe and turn on all bells and notifications. And again, if you would be so kind as to help us in subscribing to our Patreon, it helps us to do more videos like this, yeah. and more epic and cinematic style com. Ah, content will create we'll, we'll block that out <laughs> it helps us to create more epic and cinematic stylized content as well as more chapters of black bow so yeah. peace we'll see you in the next one it's DAB DAB